In this second part of the tutorial, we are in ProShow Producer. And as you can see, in the folder that I've made, we have the frame 101 and we have various other pictures that we intend to use in this production. So what we'll do first of all is that we'll bring down one of these pictures that we want to use and drop it into the first slide and then we'll drop the frame over it by holding down our control key and let go of the left mouse, let go of your control key and you'll find that the frame now sits around the picture that we've put in. Double left click on this frame, go into motions and make sure that you are working on the picture which is below the frame and now we can fine adjust this to our own liking. Don't come in to the inside of it otherwise this will be seen in the final production. And then if we copy that to the last slide, copy end to next slide, we just check on the next slide to make sure that it is copied over exactly then we can press done. And if we have the transition timing as zero, there won't be any ghosting. We'll start off with a three second timing on the first slide and a one second sliding, uh, one second timing for the last slide will be quite enough. Before this one comes in, we want to have a blank slide. So we'll right click onto this and go up to insert blank slide. That brings a black, which is the diff default blank slide in, and we'll put that as a zero timing, and we'll bring this one in as two, which will give you just a little bit of blackness, first of all, fading out into the first slide. And if we play this through, this is what you will see. Let's go down to cancel the full screen and play. coming up, holding it and then just having it on the screen for a further one second. Right, and then we can pull down another slide into this one here. Go back to this slide and double left click. Go into your motions. back again to this one right now we want to copy this frame into the next slide so the way to do that is to make sure that you're on your frame layer come down here and copy end to next slide now if we go to the next slide you'll see yep the frame is all around there and then we want to copy that frame again to the last slide copy end to next slide. Okay, so now we've got three pictures there. One is a continuation of this one and this one is a separate one altogether. And we can believe the transition here is gradually fading out from one to another over a three second timing. Let's have a look at that and see what it looks like. There we are, very simply using the PSD file that we made in Photoshop, the frame, very nice in the transition of the production of the first show that you've made in ProShow Producer.